Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cool Banker, Dan Harper Realtors. Well, today I'm finding myself in Bernie, Texas. Love this Texas Hill Country town. I'm in a community called Bent Tree. This community is literally a five minute drive from here to the historical downtown Bernie, but on the north side of the town. I love this location and I love this community, Bent Tree. Uh, I've been out, was out here before, but they had like a 65 person wait list to get in this community. Well, now they've opened up their final stage of phase three and they still have nine lots available. And I have a buyer who's looking to move here and they've got horses. They decide on where they want to stable their horses near a community called Marilomas, which is only 15 minutes from here. So I think this home might be a good fit for my buyers. So I'm going to do a video for them. So uh, the builder is Texas Homes. Every home in this community is built by Texas Homes. The plan behind me is their model home, and it's the 3245 plan. Of course, that means their square footage is 3245. But with this home, they have done the fourth bedroom option, bringing the square footage of this plan to just over 3,500 square feet. Enough of me talking, let's go check out this home. This is a beautiful home, and Texas Home is a semi-custom home builder, so you can make adjustments to this uh, plan, but they're not a full custom. The tax rate in this community is 1.77. Everything is one acre. They don't like the big privacy fences, so you can see the fences are kind of the mesh. But man, it is a beautiful part of Bernie. Lots of oak trees, some topography, but not as much topography where it's going to jack up the uh, build cost with so much foundation. Um, there are, like I said before, nine lots available. There are lot premiums on those lots, and the lot premiums range anywhere from 26000 all the way up to 85000 I'm curious to see what that $85,000 lot looks like. I bet it's impressive. But they are a great builder. This builder has a really good reputation in this area, so I'm excited to show you this home. Let me get up uh, over this little retaining wall and head on inside. All right, before we head inside, make sure you hit that like button. I've had a, I'm trying to do better about asking you to hit that like button beforehand because I realize most people watching this, uh, well, they're not making it to the end of the video. So, uh, and then, but you're missing out on the master bedroom and the gorgeous house. So I highly encourage you to stay through the end of the video. But this is a beautiful home. Love the vaulted ceilings. Definitely has the uh, modern farmhouse look, which is quite popular in Texas right now. But I love what they do. And uh, I'll put their pricing scales at the very end of the video. And these prices are as of the end of June, 2023. But a beautiful kitchen. They want the waterfall quartz counter going around it. Absolutely love that look. Um, it depends on the lot premium, which lot you choose. The base price of this plan is in the low 800s and could go up to the around like 860. So, and that includes the lot plus the lot premium. So I'm going to be doing another video showing the lots. So yeah, if you're trying to keep something below 900,000 or the mid 800,000s, check out this community. Uh, like I said, time is of the essence. There's only nine lots available in their final stage. But beautiful kitchen. They are doing uh, KitchenAid appliances. So keeping the cost down, they're not doing the whole full blown Thermador, Sub-Zero and stuff like that. But KitchenAid has a solid reputation. They are upgraded appliances, but not like I said, not the Uber stuff. But man, this is a beautiful home. Let's head to, so you see got the little kitchen, the formal dining room space. I love how they got this little extra entertainment space with the barn doors that you can close to give a little more privacy. So if you wanted to have uh, folks over to watch the game, you can definitely do that. Put this door up, the TV up here or on this wall, however you want to do it, but to be able to have a little separate place where you can close it off. Head on outside. Oh, 
beautiful back patio space. Like I said, some gorgeous oak trees in this community and this one is definitely a beauty. So it's also really quiet out here. Uh, you're not gonna have any major roads right next to it. I mean, the front part of the community do have a road, but it's not heavily trafficked with uh, like semis. But uh, the lots that are available are kind of towards the back part of the community. But these are one acre lots. You're gonna be on septic. You're gonna be on city water and city electricity. So no need to dig a well. So that, that becomes a pain in the butt. People are surprised how expensive it is to put a well in. So, and um, this community is on propane. So they will bury a propane tank, which if you're just using your propane for cooking or heat doing the fireplace, that propane tank's gonna last you a long time. Just gorgeous. Love what they do. Um, Texas Homes does a lot of what the Grand Endeavor plan, business plan is, have uh, a group of homes that they build over and over again, like 10 or so home plans, and then be able to make modifications to them. So they're not full custom, but they can move some walls around for you. But getting the price point, getting a beautiful one acre lot, this is really nice. We're in the secondary bedrooms. The, this is going to have a Jack and Jill bathroom. Now this comes standard with the 3245 plan, but the last additional bedroom we're going to see is the fourth bedroom option. But just beautiful work that they've done in here. Little water closet. We're going to go right back there. They took the doors out because this is a model home. I, but yes, there will be doors in here, so I don't want people to say, thinking this house would not have doors on it. It will. Love the backsplash on this. Beautiful quartz. And then we're in the other bedroom. Like I said, the standard plan, this is a three bedroom, but you can do a four bedroom option. And good size closets. All right, let me go show you where that fourth bedroom option is. And that's what's pushing this home from 3245 up to just over 3,500 square feet. I think it's 3540 something. But you could put this other additional bedroom in here. Once again, tall ceilings, eight foot doors. This one would have its own private bath. Very nice. And they do have smaller plans than this available and larger plans. I got a copy from the sales rep. I'm gonna to try to put all the plans that are available that Texas Homes can build just at the end of this thing. So yeah, feel free to stick around to the end of the video and check out all the plans and the pricing. And I'll even throw in the map to show what lots are available as of the end of June 2023. All right, now we're heading towards the master bedroom for those who stuck around to watch the final towards the end of the video. Just a beautiful home. And there is no mud tax. Uh, HOA fees are right around a thousand. Oh, I haven't shown the office yet. Are right around a thousand dollars a year. There's no big amenity center here. Uh, but it's a beautiful community. <clears throat> a lot of people building these homes are probably going to be building their own pool. But yeah, this is a gorgeous office. Tall, tall ceilings in here. And the French doors that you can close. All right, now let's check out this wing of the house. All the homes in here does have a three car garage. This would be the entrance to the three car garage. Texas Homes is using this as their office, so no need to go in there. But this is the laundry room. Just really nicely done. You're kind of, oh dang it, sorry. Toilet seat up. Did not come back here and inspect this part. And y'all know I 
have a pet peeve about toilet seats. So there you go. Beautiful bathroom. Love that, the detail they put in the walls in here. So this is gonna be your kind of public bathroom. Off to the back part of the house there, so you can shut the door. Cause there's nothing worse than uh, being right in the middle of the living space and you're hosting people and nature calls. That, that's no, no bueno. So it's nice to be able to uh, have that in the back. And this is a neat little feature, kind of a little butler's pantry kind of tuck off to the side here. Where is the pantry? Oh, there it is. But really nice to be able to have everything set up. If you're trying to do a buffet, this would be perfect for it, for hosting big parties. But here's the regular pantry. Really nice. Good size. And now we're coming into, there's back to the main living space. There would be a door here. Uh, this is coming into the master bedroom suite area. So you have something, if you want to put your coffee maker right here, you have to, don't even have to go in the main part of the house to go get coffee, but check out this bathroom. This is beautiful. Freestanding tub, dual vanities, Texas home, definitely showcasing what they can do with this bathroom, especially this shower. This is a monster. Wow, that's a big shower. That is gorgeous. And the rain head up above there. Lots of space. Here's your water closet with the toilet seat down. But check out this closet. This is big. Looks like it just keeps going. Get back to you. I can see the whole effect of it. So you got your shoe rack back there. So yeah, if you're thinking this is a his and hers, this definitely would be a her side with plenty of room for a his side. Well, I've, I've been doing this business job for a while. I know the wives would come in and say, Okay, husband can have this. He's got his shoe rack and two things. Everything else is mine. <laughs> that will happen. I know it will. All right, but wow, this is just a stunning bathroom. All right. And then you just come out here and just hang a quick right, and then you're into the master bedroom. Beautiful detail they have in the ceiling. And this is a really good size master bedroom. Lots of light in here. Looking out, out at the beautiful Texas Hill Country. Absolutely love this plan. So yeah, if you're trying to keep things in that 900,000 and down range, you definitely can. And if you wanted to go a little nuts with some of the upgrades, you could be getting right around that million dollar mark, maybe a little above if you really go crazy. But uh, yeah, if you're looking to stay in that 850 range, that's easily doable. So definitely recommend checking out this home. And if my clients uh, are interested in this, I can definitely get them some more information. All right, before I go into my official wrap up, um, build time here is about 11 months right now. Of course, things can change. If we go back into another frenzy again, that might get pushed back. But as of late June, 2023, look at about 11 months from contract to completion. All right, I hope you enjoyed the tour of this beautiful Texas home in the Bentry community in Bernie, Texas. I mean, who could ask for more? Good prices, one acre lots, low property taxes at 1.77, convenient to the historical downtown of Bernie, and convenient to my uh, clients stables that they want to stable the horse at. Remember, that's only a 15 minute drive. Anyways, hope you liked this video. If you did, hit that like button. Of course, I want you to subscribe to my channel and always share these videos with your friends and family. I'm a local real estate agent. It costs you nothing to use me to build this house. All right, take care now. Bye.